Hey, what is up guys? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a new 4-in-1 ESC as well as testing it for noise, like we usually do. Now, this is a 4-in-1 ESC from Flycolor. It's a 40 amp ESC with a 45 amp burst, 3 to 6 S LiPo with a 5 volt regulator rated up to 1.5 amps. Now, speaking of the regulator, they're using a switching regulator and not an LDO. Now, this is totally fine if executed correctly, but switching regulators are more prone to noise. But we don't really have to worry about that. Most of these ESCs anyways come with switching regs. And as you can tell here, it's also soft mounted, which is also a nice thing to have. And we do have a nice fat heatsink, which will be needed for 6S setups. Now, some of the things they do provide us with is a connector, just this one right here. They give us a 25 volt, 470 microfarad Rubicon low ESR capacitor. Now, speaking of capacitors, if you're gonna be using this on a 6S setup, I'd highly recommend you get a 35 volt low ESR capacitor. Now, they also provide you with two small heat shrinks to put on the leads of the capacitor so you don't run the risk of having these two short out, thus ruining your whole quadcopter. So that's really nice and that's really thoughtful. And I really like seeing that they're providing us with low ESR capacitor nowadays. Back then, they never did that. Uh, well, not back, back, back then. Back, back, back then, they used to come pre-installed and then they stopped. And then after the testing and after all the issues, they started giving us these. Hopefully, it was because of my videos, which would have been really nice and like i mentioned they always give us a connector now speaking of the connector also i wish it would have given us a connector uh not just this one the other one which goes to servo type connectors which i think they're called the dew point connectors because it would make your life a lot easier especially if you're not going to be using it with the flight controller that's meant for it it'll be a lot easier to route since they don't provide you with any pads to, to get the outputs here so you're gonna have to use this cut this and then route all the wires which is kind of a bit of a headache but it's a really simple fix for fly color i really hope they're watching and i really do hope they send the other type of connector with it when when it's released also we have an xt60 connector which is pre-made which is also a nice bonus and some nylon standoffs which i really love seeing now as you can tell here it says drone mesh on there now i don't think this is mine or anything they just did that just for fun they said would you like your name on it i said sure put my name on it that'd be really nice but they're not going to be sold with the name drone mesh this is just a custom one made for me of uh, just a custom heatsink i should say not the whole esc and uh this will not re hinder any of my results the results will speak for themselves and we're just going to start comparing it so enough talking and let's just jump to the testing guys So the results are in, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. Don't mistake this that it's a test without a low ESR capacitor. It's a test with the provided low ESR capacitor because Flycolor said, please add the low ESR capacitor to whoever is going to use this. So that's what I did. So I've compared it with other 4-in-1 ESCs, which also had a low ESR capacitor and which is also in the top tier list. So let's see how this is going to stack up. So up on the left here, both sides actually, is the throttle noise level test. This is 10%, 25% throttle, 50%, 75%, and 100% throttle here. Usually the most amount of noise would be around the 75% area on all ESCs. So this is looking really good. And uh, the bottom graph here is the same exact thing, just color coded so you kind of tell where the voltage was at most of the time. The red was where it's at most of the time, which is really good. And you want to see that red as small as possible. 
All right, now on the right side, we have the simulated aggressive flight maneuvers, which means I'm just, you know, just like a simulated aggressive flight here. And uh, to see how, how well the motors cope with very fast sudden change movements and how good the ESC is going to uh, filter that noise that's coming back with all that current coming back into the system. So, so far, it's looking absolutely beautiful. So that's really nice to see. So now let's just start comparing it to something because that's what we want to see now. Now, one thing that I've noticed right off the bat when uh, when I first boot them up, I always notice this, is the, the, the sound of the motor. The sound of the motor was gorgeous, and um, it just sounded really good. So I knew it was going to test pretty decent at least, and it didn't really fail. And again, we do have the capacitors on board. So now let's bring in the Dal RC Rocket 50 Amp. So both of these are 6S ESCs and rated up to anywhere between 40 and 50 Amps. So we're going to go ahead and bring in the color version of the Dal RC Rocket. Uh, here's the throttle. Oops, sorry, that's not with a capacitor. That's the Dal RC without a capacitor. There we go. That's with the capacitor. Okay, because we want to have a fair test here. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Dal RC rocket with uh, the noise with the capacitor. There we go. So now at the top here, we have the Dal RC rocket 50 amp. This is the, the high end, most expensive one currently in the market from Dal RC. And as you can tell here, they, they, they perform almost identical which is really good so it's, it's performing really really nice and again these tests are on 4s and this is just bench testing uh real world testing will be you will have to wait for and uh that'll take time to create but currently it's testing really really nice uh let's go ahead and bring in the best esc in the market currently which is the tico 32 4 and one esc here for comparison without a low esr capacitor let's do it without first so here it is without a low i do have a test with a low esr capacitor also so here's the throttle noise of the Tico 32, as you can tell. Now on the bottom again, this is the X cross, the one that we just tested. So as you can tell, this is the Tico 32 without a low ESR capacitor, uh, the throttle noise level test. And here it is with a capacitor. As you can tell here, it's identical. It's really nice. So yeah, these are doing really well. And they're both rated with around the 470 microfarad low ESR capacitor. Both of them are around with the same exact thing here. Um, if we take a look at the noise, let's see the noise with the capacitor from the Tico 32 and kind of compare here. Uh, I, I can't see a difference to be honest. It's, it's doing really good. So that's, that's really nice to see here. And they both sounded really smooth. However, obviously Tico is a little bit better because without the capacitor, it performs good. However, this one, I have not done that yet. Reason is because I'm going to be doing stress testing and a 6S shootout and I want to keep them running at optimal level. So we get a fair test result. But currently this one, one ESC is testing absolutely phenomenal with the capacitor that is provided with it. So if they recommend it, just do it. So you don't have any issues, but this is looking really, really good. And and uh, the overall system seems like it's handling itself pretty well. Uh, I will be popping off the heat, sink, the heat sink later on in the 6S after the 6S shootout just to see what FETs it has on board. I don't want to currently remove those because like I said, I want to keep everything running at optimal level for 6S shootouts and all the other ESCs that I popped the heat sink off, I'm going to try to get some more. Yeah, I'm going to try to figure out a way to handle the uh, the 4 one ESCs where I popped off the heat sink because it's a pain in the butt to put it back, I think. So overall, how did this perform? Well, it performed really good. The results here speak for themselves um it's performing really really nice uh, that's all i can really say so if you purchase this let us know your experience down below or if you are going to be purchasing it once you use it let us know down in the comments and um well that's currently it guys so if you guys really do like this content please consider joining my patreon help support this channel keep it going and also you can click the links down below those greatly support the channel and that's it for today i'll see you in the next one guys peace out